Welcome to the Ultimate Leadership Camp. This is the best leadership camp you will ever experience in your entire life. Are you ready? I'm going to be guiding you and empowering you to learn the difference between the two leadership styles that will truly empower you to lead a team and build an organization no matter where you're at in the world. These two different leadership styles has what's determined the most successful leaders in the world. We'll be learning from people like Nelson Mandela, John F. Kennedy, you'll be learning from people like Jose Rizal, even Oprah in this camp, and what strategies they use and what is their leadership style to enroll thousands of people to be guided by their vision and mission. You see, leadership all starts with your vision and your mission to empower people to be a part of something bigger than themselves. And if you know how to create that vision that's beyond yourself that will empower others, that's what a true leader is all about. People like Nelson Mandela, who spent 27 years in prison to end apartheid in South Africa, doing whatever it takes and eventually even becoming president and eliminating slavery, modern day slavery in South Africa. You're gonna learn how Mahatma Gandhi, through hunger strikes, ended the rule of England and India through nonviolence. And the leadership strategies, tools that I'm going to give you are going to allow you to influence, inspire, and persuade your organization to go to an entirely different level. You're gonna learn the difference between autocratic and Socratic. The difference between telling people what to do all the time and enrolling them through persuasion. How would you like to know the secrets of the greatest leaders on our planet and use their strategies to empower your organization. That's what happens at the Ultimate Leadership Camp. For three days and two nights, you're going to experience different levels of leadership and not just you leading, but being on a team where you are gonna get constant feedback about your leadership style. We're gonna to introduce to you a new feedback system where you get honest feedback of what people think of your leadership and how you interact without you being able to rationalize, justify what you've done, you'll get feedback to honestly understand what do people think of your leadership. And then you'll be able to adjust and align into a, a new leadership mode so that you have the persuasion, influence, and inspiration it takes to lead yourself, your family, your community, your organization, and ultimately be a part of changing the world. I'm gonna teach you the five A's. The five A's are the winning secrets you need to create any winning team. And these are the things that I've discovered for the last 27 years building over 4,000 people and creating success throughout organizations in Asia, in Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, South Korea, India, Venezuela, the United States. I'm going to share with you all these different techniques and strategies so that you become the ultimate leader. I hope you enjoy this camp. You will be tested. Prepare your mind, your body and soul to go to an entirely new level. That's the Ultimate Leadership Camp. Welcome.
have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. We must keep going. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving. Where does this love begin? in our own family, in our own home. How does it begin? By praying together. Family that prays together stays together. And if you stay together, you will love one another as God loves each one of you. The fruit of prayer is the deepening of faith and the fruit of faith is love and the fruit of love is service and the fruit of service is peace. Works of love are works of peace. That is why let us bring the tender love of God in our family. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard, because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills, because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. is a priestess. Every woman here who feels in her heart that she was sent by divine mission, the same small voice for God that not only leads the great religious figures to perform their divine mission, but which Mahatma Gandhi said was the leader of the Indian independence movement. No matter whether it's political or religious or educational or business or science or politics, whatever, we are here and this is the true religious calling to answer to that small still voice within and lay it down wherever we are. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will feel secure around you. We were born to manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not in just some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. And as we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Thus a glorious rainbow that beckons those with the spirit of adventure. 
and there are rich findings at the end of that rainbow. To the young and to the not so old, I say, look at that horizon. Follow that rainbow. Go ride it. Not all will be rich. Quite a few will find a grain of gold. Dig it up. As a soldier, though a soldier of peace, I must ask you to believe me when I say that I have never made a statement of this description that the masses of India, if it became necessary, would resort to violence. I know the value of discipline and truth. I regard myself as incapable in my lucid moments of having uh, of making a statement of this character. It is complete independence that we want. Sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little us does. It speaks to youth in a language they understand. Sport can create hope where once there was only despair.